Hello. Uh, my name is Melissa. If you haven't met me yet, I am um, the founder of Flow Reading Fluency, and I'm also the teacher author behind Teacher Thrive. So you may know me from Teacher Thrive. And I'm just popping on here really quickly to share with you um, how I use audio feedback devices. So let me know if you know what that is. They're also called whisper phones. You've probably heard that term used. So um, I see a few people have joined. So give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Um, and let me know where you're from and um, what grade you teach, if you don't mind, in the comments. So um, there's a little bit of a delay. So if you ask me a question or there you leave a comment, there might be a little bit of a delay before I can answer you. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk to you about audio feedback devices. Sounds like a big fancy word and it just means whisper phone. So I have a few of them that I wanted to show you. And I, um, I love these because they're great for fluency, for reading fluency, but you can actually use them in a number of ways. You're, you've probably seen this version a lot online. They're made out of PVC pipe. This version is um, a little bit thicker. I'm using like, I think it's a one inch. Let me grab my ruler really quickly and I'll measure it for you. So I'm gonna show you some homemade do-it-yourself versions that you can make. And then I'm also gonna show you um, some just pre-made, ready-to-go ones that you can purchase. Um, but I'll start with these because these are probably the ones you've seen the most. This one, and I'll take this apart. Um, this one is just a piece of PVC pipe, and I believe it is a one inch diameter, it is. So it's one inch diameter, and you'll just cut it to, this is three and a half inches. And what I would do, if you're going to a hardware store, have them cut it for you, because they'll cut it for free, and you can just, oh, hi, Mirna. Fifth grade, bilingual, you can totally use these if you don't have them already. Um, if you are using an audio feedback device of any sort, let me know in the messages and or in the comments um, and just tell me what you use them for. But anyhow, so this you have, uh, go to the hardware store, have them cut it for you so you're not having to mess with it. Uh, like I said, it is, let me just double check. I have them do, I would do three and a half inches in length um, and then you just buy these little elbow pieces and they stick right in now here's one thing i suggest you do you can if you're going to make these you can get um it's like pvc pipe cement it's permanent it reeks it's really kind of like an industrial <laughs> compound that will glue these together because if you don't you might have some students taking them apart and that could kind of get annoying. So you just put this like glue in here and then you shove it in and it will not go anywhere. You just wanna make sure, of course, that they're lined up. And then students use these, in case you don't know, um, to read to themselves. So they can whisper, they barely have to whisper and it projects right into their ear. So they can practice fluency passages or just reading to themselves. So if you have students who are timid, they don't wanna read aloud, but you know they need to practice their oral reading fluency, this is perfect because the only person that can hear them is themselves. Um, and then another way I use these is for um, editing writing. So I always had students do what I call the phone edit. And if they were ready for um, a, the next like step in our writer's workshop, they always had to phone edit their work first because they would, oh, it's just like us. If we read our email or something aloud, we always seem to find mistakes that we didn't find when we were just reading um, it in our head. So this is a great for editing writing. They can use it to edit their own writing or they can um, use it if they're doing peer editing. So this one, I prefer this size. It's the one inch diameter PVC pipe. And this is the same exact thing, 
thing except for it's three quarters of an inch. It's a little bit thinner, which means um, you just don't have the um, opening as wide for, your, for um, their voice to kind of carry or get caught, I guess you could say, in the device. So these will literally cost you like two bucks a piece at the most to make. Um, they just, it requires a little time, but again, as long as you have the uh, hardware store cut them for you, that's the biggest challenge is cutting them, um, then you're good to go. It's just a matter of gluing them. So that's an option for you. Um, and then another hardware store option, which requires no cutting or gluing, is to purchase one of these pieces in the plumbing store. They're a lot bigger. Um, they work just as well and you don't have to cut or uh, glue or anything like that. They are super durable. These are dur durable too. These are gonna last forever. But, um, I missed the octopus, please. Oh, sorry, Lisa, I'm, uh, I didn't get your question. I missed the middle bit was, if you uh, retype in your question and I can hopefully uh, help you. So this is also in the plumbing department and it's a little bit more expensive though. It's gonna be about four bucks. Again, these will last you forever, totally indestructible. Um, and, but it's double the price of these. So if you're making, you're trying to make a class set, then you might wanna go with this. And if you have the time to go ahead and glue all of them, it's not that big of a deal, then you might wanna do that. What? What, the part that sits in the middle. Oh, okay. So the part that's in the middle, Lisa, is just PVC pipe. PVC. So Peter, Victor, I don't know the, the Alpha Bravo for C. I should, Charlie. It's Charlie, right? Yeah. Yes. PVC pipe. Um, it's PVC pipe. And then these are just little joints. Okay. Um, so those are the hardware store versions. Again, super inexpensive, especially the white PVC, but they, um, there's two companies that I know of that sells, um, just kind of cutesy ones. I had a whole class. So this is Tubaloo. I'll try to put it up. It might be bad. Oh, and it's not backwards. So that's Tubaloo is one version. I bought a whole class set of these. They worked great. They are not as durable as these. Um, they're nice but they're kind of thin. They are made of two pieces of plastic. And so if one falls, it's kind of thin. They, the plastic can kind of shatter and break. So not as durable. They work as just as well. I want to say they're about $6 a piece. So that could get a little expensive if you're trying to do an entire class set. Um, if you're just doing if you're like a neat enough for a center, then you could purchase these, purchase maybe six or seven of these. Okay. Oh, hi, Vicki. I see you. New Jersey, fifth grade. I have two fifth grade teachers. I love, fifth grade is just my favorite. I love it. Um, if you're going to do the pre-made version, I recommend this one. This one is from Lakeshore over this one. They're about the same price. This one's definitely more sturdy. I never used these in the class, um, but I can just tell from comparing it to this one that it's a lot sturdier. So um, this one's from Lakeshore, and I think they come in a couple different colors. Again, go with the PVC. It's super easy and cheap, but if you want the pretty ones, then there you go. There you have it. Um, so anyway, these are awesome. I love them. I always have, when I'm uh, doing reading fluency practice with my students and they're having to repeat, um, do a repeated reading, I always have them read their passage with um, a phone, a whisper phone, we call it, at least three times so that they can hear it. Um, and they actually enjoy it because they know that they're the only ones that can hear themselves, so they're not reading aloud in front of anybody. Okay, well, super, that was just a super quick uh, Facebook Live. I just wanted to jump in and say hello. If you are looking to learn more about reading fluency, I have a free online masterclass that you can register for. I will put the link um, in the video uh, comments below, but um, if you go to teacherthrivetribe.com 
forward slash masterclass, then you can uh, join. There's two options right now for masterclasses that you can register in, but you can register. Um, everybody that attends gets a free Reading Fluency Launch Kit, which is, sorry, uh, this is the free uh, Reading Fluency Launch Kit. It includes fluency lesson plans, some mini lessons, some activities, some passages um, that students can read. They can use their whisper phones. Um, so please join me. I'd love to see you in there. We're going to talk a a lot about reading fluency um, and why it's so important and what you can do to improve it. So join me by going to teacherthrivetribe.com forward slash masterclass. And if you have any questions about the whisper phones or reading fluency, leave me a comment and I will answer it. Okay, you guys have a good night.